Are you going to be a yogi, Piper? Are you going to do downward dog with me and upward dog? You do them sometimes. Hey everyone. For this week's video, I am challenging myself to do five days of yoga. I want to do this because as I mentioned in my Taco Bell party pack challenge video that I am getting ready for the wedding. I'm kind of good for dating. I wanted to see if I was able to see a difference within five days of yoga. I've been doing yoga on and off for, I don't know, about a year now. And I've noticed subtle differences, but what I'm wondering is if I do it on a consistent basis, if I would notice even more of a difference. Basically, yoga is probably one of the best exercises for your body. It tones your muscles, it helps you with your flexibility, it helps your metabolism, it does all sorts of things that you didn't think it would help. I actually watched the docu-series on Netflix, Cheer, and I was a cheerleader, so I really related to all the pain that they went through. And I was wondering if yoga could help me get over some of those pains that I still have to this day from basically torturing my body for over five years. So, with that being said, I am going to test myself all throughout the week. I'm gonna do actually the same yoga video on YouTube. I will link that video in the description below. Please know that I am not an expert yoga or yogi. Yogi, I think that's what they call them. And if you have any tips or tricks of the trade for me, let me know in the comments down below. Let's just jump right into today's yoga session. Obviously, I'm still not perfect. I stumble a bit. I'm really gonna try to focus on my flexibility, my strength, endurance, and balance. And so those are gonna be the things that I judge whether or not consistency of yoga really helps make you have an overall better lifestyle, better attitude, better, like not a sore body, really. And so I always have a lot of pressure and tension in my back and shoulders. And I think it's because I spend most of the day hunched over at a computer. And yoga is supposed to help with your posture. So maybe throughout this week I'll get a better posture. I don't know, we'll see. But I think that was a great first day. Pepper, do you think that was a good first day? Pepper agrees. Pepper agrees. And so we'll continue to do this every day this week. <laughs> so. Until tomorrow. To be honest with all y'all, I'm just really not feeling it today. I had a long day of work. Last night I didn't sleep very well at all. And so really all I want to do is just eat dinner and like call into bed, binge watch Netflix shows. Really Sabrina the Teenage Witch because the new one came out and I just need to watch it. Anyway, besides the point. But I know in the end, this will make me feel better about everything. I will get to it for today's yoga session. I did do better than yesterday. I don't know if I was any more flexible, honestly. I felt much tighter today than I did yesterday. But what I got out today was the things that I kept falling on yesterday, I didn't fall on today, but there were things that I didn't fall on yesterday that I did today. And I realized it's because when I'm letting my mind wander to things that upset me at work today or whatever, I'm not focusing on the here and now. And I think that's part of yoga is the mindfulness of understanding. Like you're really just trying to help your body and everything and it's emotional and physical well-being. It's day three of yoga, Shavasam, which really just means to relax, I believe, but I think it's Shavasam that it's the third day and we have two more days of this. 
that was corny. Something that I am going to focus on today, which is what one of my friends told me, and she's a yoga instructor, is that you want to stack your bones when you're doing yoga. And so I'm really going to focus on that rather than just trying to push through the actual pose or move or whatever. I'm really going to keep in mind that I need to be all aligned. So with that said, let's get to it. I need to put my hair up first. I can't do this with my hair down. Now I can start yoga. this yoga workout with the fact that I know I have a white paint dot on my shorts. I've had these shorts since I was, I don't know, probably in middle school. It was in high school. We were making like signs for football games. I sat in some paint and you know what? It is what it is. The shorts are still great. I can use them. Whatever, it's fine. They're fine. Everything's fine. Let's get into it. do yoga today. You wanted more attention today than you did yesterday, which is impressive. Although even with this dog's antics today, I still think yoga so far has really been very beneficial. Every day I realize, oh wow, I'm hitting a muscle group that I didn't think I was hitting yesterday, which I think is just progress, right? So until tomorrow, Red Pepper. exactly what I was going to rank my five day yoga challenge on. One of them was flexibility for sure. And I definitely noticed a difference in my flexibility. The other ones were, I think, mindset. I don't know if it was just one of those weeks, but I did look forward to doing yoga every day because it did make me happier afterwards. So maybe it's something you'd want to do in the morning before. Um, strength, I do feel like I have gotten a bit more toned over the past five days. I feel like my body's just, if that makes any sense. So, I think there was one more, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, bone soreness, joint soreness. I think overall, I feel better overall. My shoulder blades don't hurt as much after a day of work, which is great. My feet actually don't hurt as bad anymore either. So I definitely think this is gonna be something that I keep up. I might actually do some more workout challenges. Maybe I'll do like running challenges, a five day one. We'll see how far I can get in five days. I don't know. But if you liked watching this, and if you want to challenge yourself to a five day yoga, go for it. I don't know if I will do this same routine for five days straight. I kind of like to have a little bit more variety. But if you would like to try it, let me know if you did down in the comments. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thanks, bye, or namaste.